Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Inner Circle. We're looking today at luxury chronographs beyond the Daytona. Perhaps the Daytona is too small on your wrist. Perhaps you were never a big fan of the Daytona or you are sick of waiting for one. You feel like you will never be allocated one. You feel that your chances are even slimmer now that the new lineup has been introduced, now that the model has been revised, or perhaps you just don't like the revisions that have been made. In either case, I have here three alternatives for you, three luxury chronographs that are significantly different to the Daytona, but they all have something going for them, not only in terms of uh, their design and aesthetic, but I think also in terms of functionality, in terms of wearability, and in terms of simply a certain coolness. We will start with, with the Dampin 50 Fathoms flyback chronograph. This piece actually comes in the 45 millimeter case uh, that has so far served 50 Fathoms well, even though they shrink it once every so often to a smaller size for certain limited editions. Um, but there is something about that oversized, larger than life proportions of the 50 Fathoms that makes it really special. And in this case, I think it just feels right in terms of the chronograph functions. This piece is also a flyback chronograph more akin to type 20 than say the Rolex Daytona or even the Speedmaster. It's on sailcloth, which I think matches this genre of the watch really well. I love that sapphire bezel that's really thick and substantial. I love the obelisk hands. This watch has a lot of character, a lot of loom, as you can see in this luminous signature. I have a couple of elements that I always nitpick, but these are very much personal points. I do not like a date on my chronograph, uh, especially a small date. You can't read it anyways. Why interrupt the aesthetics of the dial? But most importantly, um, what I don't like about this is how oversized these two registers are for the 30-minute totalizer and the 12-hour counter and how small, comparatively, the continuous running seconds remains. But other than that, I really love how this watch looks. I love how it combines two very important genres of the sport watch in one gorgeous, enormous package. This is the Blancpain 50 Fathoms flyback chronograph. Could be yours at the fixed price of 10318 in US dollars. It is listed by a professional dealer out of Hong Kong at Chrono 24. We are going to go to a little bit of an uncharted ter territory here. You know that I hunt for deals for you anywhere and everywhere. Uh, and here we are on the consignment store, the real, real 
for the previous generation of the overseas. Um, as it happens, this is actually based on the same movement as the Blancpain 50 Fathoms flyback chronograph we were looking at. Uh, Vachon Constantin calls it 1137, but this is actually built on the base of that same uh, Frédéric Piguet 1185 movement. That one has the added flyback functionality. Um, as you might know, Frédéric Piguet movement manufacturer has been folded into Blancpain just as Nouvelle de Mania has been folded into Pregué. It's a swatch group thing. But this previous generation of the Vachon Constantin overseas chronograph has the same base of the movement. It, for whatever reason, it gets a bad rep. I don't think it's justified. It's just as finicky and just as expensive as any other luxury chronograph movement to fix. Let's not uh, beat around the bush. Um, chronograph is a complication. The bill can run up pretty fast, even in your local watch, even at your local watchmaker, unless we are talking about the ubiquitous movements like the Valjo 7750 or ETA 2824 2. Uh, chances are you will end up 90% of the time, and whatever I say, sending it to the manufacturer, sending it to uh, the company through the auto authorized dealer, and you will end up paying through your nose anyways. But all of that being said, I think this is a great movement. I really like the modification they did here, which uh, was quite common actually in having a big date, uh, two guichet oversize display at 12 o'clock. That, for me, is a little worthier. And I also like, again, you will see, you have the big eye at 3 o'clock, which is the 30 minutes totalizer. You have the 12 hour, hour counter at nine o'clock which is just a little smaller and a tiny bit smaller than that is the continuous running seconds they are so proportionally getting smaller or getting larger that i somehow like it it's a beautiful two-tone dial by the way with uh, the fifth of a second counter for the seconds track and the chronograph registers rendered in in this silver tone whereas the main dial is in a kind of opaline uh, silver slash white tone uh, red accents also in the primary chronograph registers as well as the chronograph seconds hand. This piece comes on a rubber band, on a proprietary Vachon Constantin blue rubber band with uh, Vachon Constantin deployant buckle. I know for a fact that this piece uh, you can actually buy the integrated bracelet at the Vachon Constantin boutique. So if that is an option you want to seek out, it is there for you. I think these watches look actually even better on the strap, but that might be my own prejudice. So don't judge me. Uh, in either case, I think this is a beautiful watch, self-winding luxury chronograph with big date display at 12, uh, which has the option of the integrated bracelet but looks extremely handsome on a rubber strap and it is also anti-magnetic very charismatic with the two-tone dial and the red accents beautiful set of 
sort hands for the hours and minutes. This piece is listed at the real real for right around seventeen thousand dollars, seventeen thousand and ninety five dollars fifty cents to be specific. Last but not least, uh, we have one of my favorite brands from its foundation until our day, and that is Parmigiani Fleurier Tonda GT Chronograph Annual Calendar. This is the version that is the Silver Panda. As you can see, almost unmistakably, we have a very similar design here uh, in the sense that you have a dial that is an opaline white with radial guilloche on the minute track, a pyramidal guilloche design on the center of the dial, beautifully silver chronograph registers with 30 minute totalizer at nine, 12 minute counter at six and a kind of dashboard style, continuous seconds at three o'clock, which integrates the display for the month. As you probably heard, this is an annual calendar. So in fact, you have the month and the date and you only need to adjust it you only need to correct it once you have skeletonized alpha hands uh, which i hope increase legibility uh, but i wouldn't hold my breath uh, maybe you'll have an easier time reading the chronograph registers but for a lot of us, they're so damn small anyways. Um, this remains, by the way, the same in terms of being served on the rubber strap, which I think is very beautiful and very comfortable and very out of the ordinary for the stainless steel chronograph when it comes to the luxury realm. But once again, you have the option to actually acquire the integrated matching stainless steel bracelets from your authorized dealer. I think this is a beautiful piece. This is a very functional piece and a very unique piece. It is my absolute favorite with these sculptured lugs that have these noticeable shoulders and of course the fluted bezel that has become a kind of visual signature of the Parmigian Fleurier in uh, this day and age. Very, very beautiful piece. This has a slightly larger case than the time and date version at 42 millimeters, but I think it's worth every bit. This is the Parmigiani Fleurier Tonda GT in stainless steel, silver panda on the rubber band. The professional dealer has it listed on Chrono 24 for 18,155 in USD. That's the buy it now price, but they remain open to negotiation as well. So feel free to send them an offer at the limits of your budget. I would, I meant to say below the limit of your budget and see if you can actually make a deal perhaps. This is my pick of the litter because I think it is the most original because I think it is the best design and I think it is also something very unique both in terms of its visual aesthetics, its wearability and its functionality. 
we also had the Vachon Constantin overseas second generation chronograph with the big date on the rubber band and the Bain 50 fathoms flyback chronograph on the sailcloth strap in stainless steel, which was the best value proposition. Thank you again for being with me. Please feel free to send any questions you might have about these particular listings and about other luxury chronographs to me through Patreon. You can send me an email as well at lordhellespontv at gmail.com. That is lordhellespontv at gmail.com. You can, of course, find me on Instagram as well at young.brando. Any watch-related questions whatsoever, just shoot me a message and I'll be there for you. I really appreciate your consistent support. I am going to provide you a lot of content this summer, especially through the channel and also if you seek my services here too, just write to me and I will make sure to find a way to help you. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.